Chai with the Wall Street Journal, and we're joined today by Mr. Ed Asner, legendary actor of the screen and stage. Thanks so much for joining us, Mr. Asner. And now stage. <laughs> now stage, exactly. Legendary, don't forget that. <laughs> so speaking of the stage, you're returning to Broadway for the first time in 23 years in Grace. Tell me what attracted you to playing the role of Carl. That's a great role. I thought it was time to shake up the bottle and see what else I can do, and uh, also prove to people I was alive and well. <laughs> well, this role, I would think, is a difficult one to pull off because it really toes the line between comedy and tragedy, and he also balances atheism and faith. Yeah, that, 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 that's true. He goes from laughs to uh, the retelling of a horrible story, but that's a clown for you. When you're out there and you're performing, do you get a rush being back on Broadway? I feel the rush just being in the theater and to fly on stage and capture the hearts of millions. That's me. It's my style. So after Grace ends its run, you will continue your one-man show, FDR. Mm. Tell us about that. Wherever I go, be it the Deep South, the Border States, the North, Midwest, Eager parishioners come to hear the man, and for them it's, it's great to hear the um, sacred words of the great man who saved the country, perhaps saved the world. Do you find that the audience really responds to you and you're able to communicate directly? Because again, when I saw you, it was really every single line you gave, there was laughter, and people just hung on to your every word. What I've discovered over the years doing drama and comedy, that one should look everywhere one can for the humor in drama. It lightens the load and makes the drama more palatable. So thank you so much for joining us. Really appreciate You've it. You've been charming. It was lovely thank speaking you. with you. We've been talking with Ed Asner at the Wall Street Journal. I'm Barbara Chai.